So, what's new this turn? Two combat zone in this system. So we jumped through and we found another one of his scouts. Oh, looks like he got some shots up on him. Let's look at <coughs> let's look at that. Hmm, they were quite in the center here. And this time we can actually see the uh, fight radius. Uh, he's doing the usual thing of running away. Man, these uh, combat arenas are really small, are they? I mean, if you have a ship at 80 range instead of 40, like this one, that's what half the arena. Oh yeah, it hit a little bit, and now it's going to keep missing. Oh yeah, now it's fired. It's uh, it's couple shots. It's five shots. And now they can run away from each other, and it's failed at killing that thing. Oh well, you tried. An effort was made. And that one's just them running circles around each other. Well then, uh, I don't know why I bother clicking communications, but I usually do it. So, <laughs> we should have this other ship here. You're probably not going to see this ship, not without sensors, and he's, uh, he would be dumb to fly into me. So let's just, let's do an attack move there. The difference between moving and attack moving is if you move, you avoid enemy ships, and if you do an attack move, if there's an enemy ship, you will move straight into it. Uh, let's just move straight to the war point. And these six guys, or these four guys, are going to be waiting here now, because they just ran out of fuel. They need to wait until their new fuel daddy arrives, uh, who's almost there. Yeah, he's almost there already. I guess I could have had them right there and then they would have been together. Oh well. And then I could have moved it to this tile next turn instead. Hmm. I guess it actually makes this tile slower. Whatever. Now we have to live with it. We have more of these ships going out. These are still all busy building. Yeah, nothing we need to adjust here. We want to adjust something here soon, oh, but that is just going to be more shipyards because you know, for one of the 50 facility slots we need more shipyards. Two more warships at home. Mm, what's our money situation looking like? Construction queues. Uh, yeah, we actually have maintenance using up most of our income by now. That's what it usually should be. That's what it should be like. Tech is not changed. We're still, yeah, we're still teching for orbital, in orbital industry, and that's going to take more than one turn. So, our invasion fleet is actually here, and we have three sensor range. And I know that his scouts have one sensor range, so I know that he does not see me. I like that state of affairs, and I would like to keep it that way. And since I have a speed advantage, I can definitely keep it that way. So, how about, what do you say, we just let him run into uh, into this ship, which can hopefully kill him when he comes through. Let's look at how they're positioned. Can we make you stand a little closer to the warp point, like below it, so that you can just accelerate upwards? Yes, that sounds good to me. Then you will murder that scout when he runs into this warp point. We'll just go away, some direction he can't uh, see me means we need to move to this turn when he ends the turn there. And uh, then you can move there. These didn't actually do anything, yeah? So we can just move straight through them. Mm -hmm. Good, then you go on the right side around the star and up here. Okay, you haven't actually seen anything new. You are, what, cloaked? No, you're not cloaked. But you are protecting the war point right now. Or at least seeing if anything comes through. Yeah, you are going to go further after these two, so we are going to cloak you. And then we just have those two new warships at home. Uh, what do? Should we build more warships? Mm, I think so. Do we want a second of these uh, scout ships? Maybe. Mm. Is there anything else that we need to level them? Requires equivalent level plus 
one in sensors and equivalent level in quantum physics. So if I want to have gravity level two, I will have to have sensors three in quantum physics too, huh? That's how I interpret the statement. I have sensors three, right? Which I think I do. Maybe I don't. No, I only have sensors two anyway. And I don't have quantum physics two. But oh, quantum physics two is actually relatively cheap. It's only 400 points. So I guess it's only the initial investment uh, that is actually expensive. Afterwards, the leveling, the make th uh, make stuff 10% better is reasonably cheap. So I'm guessing afterwards we're going to go for those better sensors after all. You get uh, you spend 600 points or whatever on sensors and 400 points on quantum physics too. Is it here? 900 points on sensors three. Well, we have 500 points still. What would you get for filling up your own world with research labs? So what do we do with these ships? We already sent these two ships to uh, stand guard here on these war points. So I think I also want these towards the front here. Uh, just show me one of them. Right, uh, they had uh, a thing where they would end their third turn on uh, that war point. I'll just send you there, and then you can ask me again. Yeah, that's it.